So you guys want to make some money in Grand RP? Well, I'm going to tell you a little secret. It's not that hard. I've been doing this for a very, very long time, and I've explained it a couple times before. But I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with it and try to convince you to do exactly what I do, because pretty much guaranteed you're going to be able to make hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, maybe tens of millions of dollars, depending on how much money you have. Before we get into it, though, if you haven't already joined the server, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on start playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, download the launcher, and you should be good to go. And just an FYI, every single car in this garage is set to rank 1. So if you do want to join my family at any point in time, head to the hotel, head to the house, wait for someone to pull up, join the Discord, which is linked down below in the description, you join the family, you have access to all these cars, and we're going to be hosting family events constantly. But of course, we need to get the numbers up. This family is literally about driving nice cars and getting free money. That is pretty much it. Anywho, let's get into how to make some cold, hard cash, because I know a lot of you guys have been dying to get some. In my inventory, I have 230 copper, 160 emeralds, 70 rubies, and 40 diamonds. The value of this is $1,500,000, give or take ten dollars to $20,000. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering how that amount of minerals is worth $1.5 million. Well, let me just tell you this. I spent about a million dollars getting these. It took me about five minutes, and I made about $500,000 profit. So if I didn't already mention it, if you have money, any amount, you'll be able to make a bucket load of money if you listen to exactly what I'm going to say. Because I have been doing this for months and months on end. And there's been times where I've actually spent about $3 million and managed to make $7 million off of that investment in one single day. It's really not that hard. Let me go drop these minerals back off at my house, where I'm slowly stocking up on them again because I just sold all of them off and made a bucket load of money, but we'll get into exactly what you need to do in a second. And as long as you listen, you'll be able to make a bunch of money too. And the best part is, I know a couple people watching this video are already rich, even more rich than I am. We can calculate exactly how much you can expect to make, depending on what you have on you. Like I said, We'll get into all of that in just a minute, but let me show you what to do first. All right, we're going to spend $2 million, and I'm going to show you how much money we make or how much money we might end up losing. What you're going to want to do is open your M menu, go to Shop, go to Prizes, and go to In-Game Currency, and select the Luminous Stone times 10 container. This container will make you a fortune. Yes, going to a mine is a great idea, if you don't have money and you could do that if you're completely broke right now if you have only a hundred grand on you i'd recommend spending that hundred thousand dollars on that container and then the rest of your time mining or doing other stuff to make you some money in the city if you need some help in terms of the best beginner jobs to make you some quick easy cash every hour i will link it down below but what i'm going to tell you is going to be big money the more money you have right now the more money you're going to end up making, period. And I'm going to prove it to you now. We got $10,600,000 in cash. Let's spend $2 million and see what happens, all right? Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to open 100 of these containers and see what kind of profits we're looking at. Copper will end up selling for about 50 bucks a pop. Emeralds, let's say 1,000. Rubies, we'll say 1,500. And diamonds, 20,000. And if we get luminous stones, that's an easy $100,000 each. You're probably wondering, those aren't the prices for them right now. At the current moment, diamonds only sell for $8,000 to $10,000 a pop. Well, the main goal here is to save these resources and sell them when an event starts. The reason why you want to do that is because during those events, the prices of these resources skyrocket. That also includes things like mandarins gasoline cabbage sadly not timber perch carp salmon trout diamonds copper rubies and emeralds all of these things skyrocket right here i have 140 diamonds sitting on me right there if an event were to start 
right now, these 140 diamonds are worth $2.8 million. And I'm not joking. On God, I've done this every time. As long as you sell them right when the event starts, you're going to make some money. And by the way, just before I open these containers, there is an update coming out four days from when I'm making this video. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to sell resources for candy or something else, which is the main goal of doing all of this to make you a bucket load of money. But just letting you know, there is a new update coming out in a couple of days. So get ready for that. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm stocking up, which is why I'm making this video and I'm trying to help you guys out. Either way, let's go spend two mil and hope for the best. So we have opened $2 million worth of those containers. And we got some pretty decent stuff. We got 180 rubies, 410 copper, 110 diamonds, and 300 emeralds. Let's calculate what these items will end up selling for the day or the day after an event starts. And like I said, every day that goes by after an event starts, these items will go down in price. So you want to sell them as soon as you can. We spent $2 million. Let's see what we can get for them. 410 copper. Normally, when an event's happening, I see people selling copper for $100 a piece. Sometimes it gets sold, sometimes it doesn't. It depends when you're selling it. Make sure you're doing it at peak hours. In game time, that's going to be from about 1700 to maybe 2300 maybe even 1 a.m. in city time. Whenever the most amount of people are on is when you want to sell these items when the event starts. Let's say we could sell each piece of copper for 75 bucks a pop. Actually, let's say 60, being generous. That's about $24,600 worth of copper. That's nothing. Penny change. Let's head to emeralds. 300 of them we ended up getting. I've seen people sell emeralds for about $1,500 to $1,700 each. Like I said, when an event's happening. Let's say you just want to make the money right here, right now. We'll sell them for $1,300. That's $390,000. Our total profit at the moment is about $414,000, but we haven't gotten into the big stuff yet. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, there's also a chance of you getting 10 Luminous Stones from that container. I've already won it personally five times and I sold them for $100,000 each. They all sold instantly, meaning you could probably sell them for a little bit more than that, maybe 200k each. And if you do end up getting them and can sell them for 200k each, then you've just made all your money back. It's not hard to get them, just depends how much money you're willing to put into it. But like I said, we'll get into that in a second. Anyways, let's take a look at the rubies now. I've seen them go for $2,500 to $3,000 each. And no, I'm not joking. Like I said, the day the event starts, people are craving these resources. So obviously prices will be high. We'll say 2,000 bucks a pop per ruby. That's $360,000 of rubies sitting in front of us. Making our total profit so far, 774,000. But we haven't gotten to the most important part, which is gonna be the diamonds. 110 diamonds. Now when events start, I've actually seen people trying to sell diamonds for $30,000 each. And I don't think they've ever been sold. If anybody buys a diamond for 30 grand, you're fucking crazy. I normally sell them for 20,000 bucks a pop. If they don't sell, I drop them down to 18 and they're all gone. On God, I do it every time. Every single event that happens, they always get sold. And there's been times where I've had like 500 diamonds and they're all gone. And I literally double my money. So we're going to say $18,000 per diamond. And trust me, that's a pretty great price if you're selling them the day the event starts. They'll probably all disappear instantly. But we got 110, meaning that's about $1,980,000 worth of diamonds. If you don't remember, we spent $2 million on this container. And just from the diamonds alone, we're only down 20 grand. But if we add everything else into that, we're up $754,000. And it took us maybe about 10 minutes. But you also need to remember one thing. Let's head back to that container, shall we? Take a look at this. Every 10 you open, you get a $10,000 bonus. 
But would you look at that? Meaning, we got an extra $100,000. So in total, we spent 2 million bucks. We made $854,000 in about 10 minutes. Now that money is not going to come to you right here, right now. This money will come to you when you decide to sell these items, when it is time to do so. If I were to sell them right now, I wouldn't make any money. We can go check Beach Market just to see what these items are currently selling for, if we could find any. And if we don't, it's because people are probably smart not selling these items now because they know in the future they will sell for a whole lot more money. And while we're driving there, if you're broke and have no money to spend on these containers, just go and mine and get these items because if you can get one diamond, that is $20,000. If you get one or two diamonds within an hour, that means you made 40 grand just from the diamonds alone. Plus, on top of that, you got some other minerals, which you can also sell. And it's not hard to get a level 3 pickaxe. I pretty much just give them away to people, because they're only worth like 100k. For some of you, that might be a lot. For others, that's nothing. I'm assuming most of you guys watching this video probably have more money than I do. Like, I mean, I just spent $2 million. I also just made almost a million dollars worth of profit in about 10 minutes. Like I said, we're about to go over exactly how much you can make, depending on how much money you have. We got 121 rubies right here. They're selling them for $495 each. Not gonna lie, that's a fucking steal. So I'm gonna just go ahead and purchase those because when an event starts, I'm selling them for 1500 bucks a pop, which is a $1,000 profit for me personally. And like I said, I know a lot of you are probably just gonna be like, now nah, that's a bunch of bullshit. Well, it isn't. If you believe me, believe me. If you don't, don't. But I'm just saying, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I have not seen anything other than rubies being sold here at the current moment. People are probably saving just because they know there's an update coming out and there is a chance that you'll be able to exchange resources for some stuff. Oh, look at this. All these diamonds. 30 diamonds. How much are they? 330k. They're selling them for $11,000 a pop right now. And you can't do anything with them right now. You can't exchange them for shit. Those diamonds will be worth a hell of a lot more in four days. So like I said, we just made nearly a million dollars profit in about 10 minutes. Let's say you had $20 million to spend. That means multiply what we made by 10. That's an $8 million profit for you. It might take roughly an hour and 40 minutes, something like that. But, you know, for $8 million, pretty much completely free, I'd say that's a pretty damn good deal. And if you're completely broke, and let's say you have 200 k to your name instead of $2 million, you know, an $80,000 profit in literally one minute is not bad. And you never know. You might even get luckier than I did. You might get diamonds back to back. And if you end up doing that on your first or second container, that's literally $400,000 right there. You might have only had 40 k to spend, and you just made $360,000 as long as you sell those diamonds at the right time. When it comes to what I'm talking about, it literally comes down to when you're going to sell them. Because right now, that dude's selling them for 11000 bucks a pop. I mean, if you really want some diamonds now then maybe somebody will buy them. Like, personally for me, I might actually go back there and buy all those diamonds for $11,000 each. And that's another thing that you guys can do. If you see people selling these minerals for dirt cheap prices, like 11 grand per diamond is nothing. If you know for a fact that in a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you can sell them for nearly double the amount, why would you not buy them? All it comes down to is having the money to do so. Everybody starts from somewhere. You might be watching this and be super rich. You might be watching this and be completely broke. Either way, you follow what I just did, you'll end up making money. You see people selling that stuff for dirt cheap, go and buy it. If you're rich or if you're poor, doesn't matter. Because either way, you'll end up making money. You open those containers, you get diamonds one time after you open 10, guarantee you, you've already made profit because you could sell those diamonds for 200k and you just spent 
200k. That means all the rubies, emeralds, and copper is just extra money for you. So when it comes down to it, it's really not that hard to make some money. All it takes is for you to just have a little bit. Everybody starts from somewhere. It might take you a couple months, maybe even a year. You could start off with 20 grand right here, right now. And in one year's time, you gotta have 200 million, maybe even a billion. Depends how much effort you put into it and how much you're looking at grinding. You could go from the poorest person in the city to the richest. And I'm telling you, there is no other way to make this much money in this short amount of time. The only other way you could do that is if you own a custom shop or a chip tuning business. Because people would go there and spend a million dollars to upgrade their engine or something like that. And by the way, I'm literally heading back to Beach Market right now to go and buy those diamonds because they're 11k a pop, which is actually dirt cheap. Because the second an event starts, believe me, I'm making $9,000 profit per diamond. And we're getting them all, baby. We're getting them all. I know a lot of you probably wish you were here because that is a pretty damn good deal in my eyes. Like I said, every time an event starts, this is what I do. And that is how you make money. $11,000 a pop. 320 diamonds. That's about $4.1 million. But what this guy doesn't know, next time there's an event, add on another 9,000 to that. Which means 380 diamonds for 20,000 a pop. If I buy them right now, they're then worth $7.6 Which means I make a bucket load of money. So uh, let's just go ahead and buy a couple of these diamonds, because why not, right? I'm not going to spend it all, because the money that I have in cash right now, and I can't even store any more diamonds. Shit. Okay, I'm going to have to go and put some shit in the trunk. Uh, the money I have on me, I'm looking to give away, as usual. But, I mean, if you're in city right now, uh, I'd probably grab them before I do. Just saying. Either way, it's the easiest way you can make money. As long as you're okay with not getting the money instantly. That's how life works. Invest, sell when it's time to, and make your money. Period. I genuinely hope this video helped you guys out because I know a lot of you constantly ask me, how do you make money? This is the easiest way. If you're a beginner, go mining. You got some money, spend it on the container. You get diamonds one time, that's $200,000 in your pocket, right there. If you don't get diamonds, it's not the end of the world. You always start from somewhere. Shop the deals, try to find stuff now, and when an event starts, the prices will skyrocket. Like I said, been doing it for a while, and it has never failed me. So do what you will with the information, and hopefully you guys can make some cold hard cash. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully this does end up helping you out. But with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.